Stephen is involved with the Te Deum uh, Ministries, and they describe itself as a religious organization set up to address the degradation of our culture and the lack of spirituality by creating for teenagers, young adults and families a ray of hope. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Aguino. Check, check, check. Can you guys hear me? If you're having a good time, say nothing. You could have said nothing. That's okay. If you're having a good time, say amen. 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 God is good all the time. And then in New York, we say, show them some love. And then everybody puts their hands up and they go, woo! So, God is good all the time. Show them some love. There we go. So, thank you so much for having me. My name is Stephen Aguino, and I'll see you next time. That's what I do with the Ray of Hope. I just walk in, say hello, get people to go, woo, and then walk away. But no, there's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. So, I was invited by Melvin, a.k.a. Rebels the MC, to come on this trip. And in my bio, as you heard, I was with the Salesians of Don Bosco for the past seven years. And I was studying for the priesthood. And I was a brother and um, in religious life. It was amazing. It was a great time. And uh, I was praying and discerning the whole time and saying, God, where are you calling me to be happy? Where are you calling me to serve you in my life? And as I prayed more and more and I spoke with my spiritual director and the different directors of the communities that I was living in, I felt God saying to serve him through this medium of speaking, performing, music, entertainment, and just being joyful. And there's absolutely so many ways you could do that as a religious or even as a priest, but I felt God was moving me in this direction. And something that's so important for me that I just want to mention very quickly is talking about the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and how we are to be open to the Holy Spirit. And I know, as many of you can attest in your own ways and speak from your own experience, how important it is to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Because for me, as a, as a young person, it's very intimidating when I was growing up and people would say, okay, are you going to university? Do you have a job? Are you set up? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? And when you're 16 years old, to think about even what you're going to eat for breakfast the next day, it's very difficult to make a decision when you know everybody's on their cell phones and they're saying what filter should I use what filter should I use and they don't even know how they want to post their photos or pictures so you know God has a way of of working with the Holy Spirit in our lives and so when Melvin gave me the phone call at that point I was discerning out of religious life out of the Salesians into being a part of the you know lay community again and he said what are you doing in uh, April 2018 and I said absolutely nothing and he says good do you want to come to New Zealand with me and I was like, is this a prank? Is this a, this is a joke, right? It's like, no, we're going to go. And I said, absolutely, I'm all in. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. And so every single moment that we have been here has been such a blessing. And we have seen the Holy Spirit at work from making us miss our flight, connecting from Houston to New Zealand, to reconnecting with old friends. Some, one of my friends that I was in the seminary with years ago and uh, just seeing him today, and he's in his first year of theology, so three more years until he's ordained, uh, God willing, and uh, just old friends. So it's amazing to see old friends and to make new friends, of course. So one of the things that I want to mention really quick before I get into the music is uh, we were speaking with a gentleman earlier, and he was talking about why is it that a lot of young people are involved in the faith, and the second they get to a certain age around you know, 18, 19, somewhere around 22, they fade away. And then they come back when they're adults or a little bit older. And I had this analogy that I thought of, and uh, this is an American analogy because we, we talk about baseball a lot in the U.S. So I, I guess we can like make a rugby analogy here or a netball analogy since we're in a netball center. But this is what I was thinking of. In the U.S., a lot of parents love certain teams. So for Melvin and I, being from the Bronx, we love the Yankees, the New York Yankees, uh, World Series champions all over. And when you're a young person, you love going to the games because it's exciting and your parents are explaining to you what's going on and everything is new. And you see somebody hit the ball and say, like, 
It's not ping pong, it's baseball, okay. So they see what's going on and they're excited and they like to wear the jerseys and they go with their friends and they tell their friends about their favorite players. But if it's something that only the parents love and don't help the children to learn how to love and enjoy it on their own, when they go away to school or when they get older and move away from home, they lose that love for the baseball team. They no longer wear the jersey. They no longer know who's playing. They no longer know what the score is or what the season is going to be like or who's on the designated hitter list or who's injured. And then when they get older, they remember the joy. They remember the tradition. They remember that time with their families. And they said, I wish I can go back to when I was young again and be with my parents sitting in the stands and getting to know what it's like to have that joy and that love for the tradition of the game. So when they get older, they want their children to experience that love and that joy that they felt. But for other young people, they experience that joy and they take it on firsthand for themselves. And they say, yes, I love this team, I care about this team, and they themselves can defend the team. So that analogy goes with our faith. When we bring our, our children to Mass, the young people to Mass, they're all about it. They have a great time, but then if they step away and somebody says, now what do you actually do? What do you actually do at church? Do you believe in the Eucharist? Do you know who the Blessed Mother is? What do you think about saints? They look and they go, uh, and they take out their phones and they're like, hey Siri, what is the church? And then like they ask Siri if they know the faith. But the same thing happens. Like, as we get older, we want to baptize our children, have that tradition. But if we take it from day one as our own and it, you know, really live that faith, it's beautiful and the tradition keeps going. And our church is pretty strong, 2,000 years old, and we're still alive, we're still well. The Spirit has brought us to New Zealand. The Spirit is in New Zealand, and it will continue to spread throughout the world. So, with that being said, I want to show you what this loop station is here so I can make things go over and over and over and over and over again. And this is why I don't have any friends, is because I can like, have my own friends here like, hey, what's up, Steve? Hey, what's up, Steve? Not much. How are you? Hey, what's up, Steve? You already said that. Hey, what's up, Steve? I'm going to make a new friend. So it's a lot of fun to, to make music and to have a great time. And Melvin earlier gave this example. How many people have seen the Flintstones, watched, know what the Flintstones are? It's a cartoon, and it's from back in the day. And when they would cook food, you would see a trail of the food, the scent, coming out. And Fred Flintstone would smell it, and he would be picked up. He would be lifted, and just with his nose, follow the trail. like. And he was brought in to have a wonderful meal. So with music, the sound is like the smell. And the actual substance is the lyrics. So for us in our faith, we love to put the substance into the lyrics. So here it goes. I'm going to make a beat right here on the spot. But first, I have to tell you about these two wonderful instruments I brought all the way from the US. This is a wonderful, very expensive instrument called the egg shaker. And it goes like this. I'm just kidding. I think it was like a dollar. It's OK. And then these were specially crafted from the seashores of California, the tambourine shaker. I, I think it was like 450, I don't know. But what's special about this is you could actually put it on your foot and it's a foot tambourine, so check this out. I forgot to charge the battery, so it was like trying to find the power outlet. I don't know. It goes like this. Here we go. Alright, that, that clapping was so good I got intimidated. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna play a little a little keyboard, a little piano. Thank you, I call that number three concerto by Bach. Thank you. So here we go.
Sometimes it's harder to do one to others as you would have them do to you. The attitude's beautiful, my attitude is that of you the lost cause, and so I play with St. Jude and bring it back to you like you brought me back to you. But then again, I was never over from the actual, factual, inspiring. Think for words of firing, occasion not a job, but the priesthood is hiring. Contemplating on the fact that I was called out. Had my cards on the table, they were all out. When my plans were written on, but they were crossed out. I didn't want to follow, so I had a doubt. Trying to figure out what a life of mine is taking me. People say me things to me, thinking that they're shaking me. His grace and love is on my side, they're never breaking me. But I continue to see the man that God is making me. That's the beginning to Jingle Bells, if you didn't know. It's like, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Anyways, so that's that one. But so I was with the Salesians for a long time, and um, one of the beautiful things that I've learned to love is the charism of St. John Bosco and the spirituality of the Salesians. And there was a message that said, even though you are young, it is enough for me to love you. And that's what Don Bosco would say to the boys in Becky, Italy, in Turin in the 1800s. And uh, he served a lot of the young people and opened up oratories where they would learn how to do different trades and vocational skills. And uh, he basically taught them how to love Jesus as they are, as who they were, and where they were. So if a boy was in prisons, if a boy was in gangs, if a boy was just an all-around good kid, he said, everybody is called to be saints. And he was inspired by St. Francis de Sales to form the name Salesians. So it's like followers of St. Francis de Sales, but we all know that it is, of course, following Jesus. And what's beautiful is from Jesus, we have these saints. So if you love St. Teresa of Calcutta, St. Faustina, St. Francis de Sales, whoever it is, everything leads back to Jesus. So it's a beautiful thing. And uh, I got another song for you guys. You guys. You guys okay with that? All right. So we all know that God is great. It's Easter time. We're able to say Alleluia again. Now I know Alleluia! Allelu. So when I say Allelu, you say Ya. Yeah. Allelu. Yeah. Amen. So um, during Lent, it was very, very difficult for me because there are many times I wanted to say Alleluia. And I remember I was uh, playing for adoration one time. We were doing praise and worship music. And in the song was the word Alleluia, and I forgot. But we didn't have the lyrics projected on the screen. And the lyrics were, Sing Alleluia, Christ is risen. And this is like a week before Easter. And so I'm playing the guitar. Sing, ah, praise you, Jesus. And we just had a completely, and everybody in the band was like. And uh, it was funny, but it's so great that God is great. So this next song is called God is Great. Check it out. Check, check. Check. You guys hear me okay in the back? Yep. All right. My God is great because he gives me hope. He shows me I can bounce back when I'm against that rope. And when life gets hard, I tend to start to get quiet. So when I pray, I close my door and speak to God in private because he knows me now even in the room and he knew me then even in the room and before that and before that he lifts me up when I'm feeling like a floor mat when I'm all well on go to shoot prints and I'm calling out now to the true prince can you hear me can you hear me Lord I want to find a new what the truth is take me back to the sermon on the mount where I can figure out who the blessed is it's the kids in the street once you gotta eat and the ones who might get arrested I'm invested in your message fill me up now cuz I'm restless you show me what life after death is that was all you resurrected in him. He's great, yeah. God, God is great. Put your hands up. God is great, yeah. With me. God is great. My God is great all the time. I bet it with my life, yeah, my bloodline Giving up everything to follow him, yeah Action, matching, word, flow Christian in the depths of me Christian to the death of me Christ centered deep down Found it with my silence Found it in my blindness 
faith hit me hard, boys. Healing up them scars, boy. Misfits turn to mystics. Problems now we profit. Served and now we serve him. You be rocking Jay Z. Me, it's Thomas Merton. So chin, lift for God alone with my broken bones. You could take my phone, boy. You could take my money, homie. You could take my life. Christ, I trust in you. Breathing for the first time, seeing for the first time, loving for the first time, alive and God is great, rocking with them saints now, singing with them angels, holy men and women, yeah, you know our God is great. Praying in the morning, feel you in the evening, peace come in the night time, every day, God is great, hey, God is great, yeah, God is great. Hey, God is great all the time, all the time. God is great. Yeah, put your hands up. God, God is great. Hey, hey, God is great. Yeah, God, God is great. My God is great. My God is great. My God is great all the time. Here we go. Hey, God is great. Hey, God is great. You say all the time, all the time. God is great. Yeah, keep it going, yeah. God, God is great. Hey, God is great. Yeah, God, God is great. Keep it going. Hey, God is great. Yeah, we're high. God, God is great. God is great yeah this time god god is great Whew. all right so in uh in the u.s and i think here too it's exactly the same when people hear music they just start dancing it doesn't matter what the language is if there's a rhythm Everybody's like, okay, I like this, I like this. They don't know what's happening, they don't know what's going on, but they feel something, and then they hear the lyrics of the song, and they go, what was that? I have no idea what that was. And then you, you know, ask somebody, now what exactly were they saying? And you go, I cannot believe that I was dancing to that music. But the great thing is, is that our faith is meant to be joyful. We are a resurrection people. When we say hallelujah, we know that Jesus is risen here today yesterday today forever and it's beautiful that we feel that that spirit within us that moves us closer to him so rebels and i our mission is to move people with our music closer to jesus so with that being said are you guys ready to dance if you cannot dance it's okay you can dance from your seat and you can like kind of like smooth you can blink to the music if you want so here's how we're going to do this it's going to go like this. I'm going to build the beat, and there's going to be actually, like, movement. Have you ever heard of Zumba? Okay, this is Catholic Zumba that we're about to do. You better get ready, because I got moves. I'm half Cuban and half Italian. I break it down, you know what I'm saying? I said, I'm half Cuban and half Italian, so I'm going to break it down. Do you know what I'm saying? Just in case someone's like, what did he say? Anyways, it goes like this. Am I so crazy when I'm about to say? No, it's not that song. That's a happy song, you know what I'm saying? That's not my song, but it goes like this. Here we go. Okay, now for the most important part. The edge shaker. Here we go, here we go. I gotta get it just right, just right. Wait, today's Saturday, right? Oh, okay, hang on. I'm ready, I'm ready. I've been practicing that for a while. Here we go. Okay. 
Are you guys ready? Are you already make some noise? Say yes. All right, everybody stand up. If you can stand up, come on. If you want to dance with me, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take very small movements, and we are going to go like this. It's going to go, I'm going to stand up here so you can see me a little bit better. Or you can just check out one of the screens. Left, 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 clap, right, 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 clap, up, up, bring your hands up, 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 bring your hands up, up and down, down, put your hands down, 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 put your hands down, down, again, left, 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 hey, right, 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 hey, up, up, put your hands up, 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 put your hands up, up and down, down, put your hands down, 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 okay. So we're gonna get that from the top. Are you ready? One, two, three, to the left. Left, 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 down, 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 down. Okay. So, the next part. All right, yeah, I see you. The next part's gonna go like this. A little more complicated, so if you're an advanced dancer, wonderful. If you're not, it's okay. You're gonna be an advanced dancer in two seconds. Something like this, here you go. Left, 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 clap, right, 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 clap. Left, 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 clap, right, 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 clap. This next dance move I invented, it's called the squeegee, it goes like this. I'm pretty sure I did not invent that, but it's gonna go like this, so, be with me? After the squeegee, so, in the U.S., we have these used car sales, like these used car lots, and we have these things that are called wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing salespeople, and they look like this. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. I just want you to do this a little bit. Like, just wave your hands side to side, and then there's this movie that was very popular called Bernie, and he danced like this. He goes like this. So here we go. I think you guys got this. We're going to start. Remember, two steps, clap, two steps right. I'm going to lead you the whole time. Here we go. One, two, three, to the left, 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 clap, right, 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 clap, left, 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 clap, right, 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 hey, squeegee, 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 hey, squeegee, 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 put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands down, put your hands up again, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 squeegee, hey, two, three, switch, one, two, three, put your hands up, put your hands up, and down, 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 and and that's it. Everybody have a seat. Give yourselves a hand. I got one more song for you, and then I'm out. I got one more song. So, over these past few days, we've been fed very well. And we're very appreciative of that. But I needed to work off all that wonderful food. So I think I just worked off breakfast from yesterday. I could do a little more dancing for the rest of the meals. Okay, so... St. John Bosco always said to the young people, you can be saints. And when I was a teacher at the high school, I taught grade 11, and the boys would always say to me, Brother Steve, do you know what I want to be when I grow up? And I would say, what? What do you want to be? And they would say, I want to be famous. And I said, how many followers do you have on Instagram? 3,000. And I would say, my mom has more followers. That's not going to work for you. So if my mom's more popular, you're not going to get famous. I'm sorry, because she's not famous. I know that for a fact. And then I said, are you getting on the Dr. Phil show? Because in the US, Dr. Phil is very popular. If you get on the show, boom, you're a celebrity. And they said, no. And I said, well, guess what? I have something that you can be. And they said, what, what do I have to do? Do I, do I need to pay monthly? Is it yearly? I said, no, it's your lifetime. And they said, what is that? And I said, you are called to be a saint. And so I had a student in my classroom, and he said, time out, time out. When I go to church and I look at the windows all along the walls, I see what the saints look like. And I said, okay, what do they look like? And he would stand up and go like this. And I said, 
Well, that is true. They do look like that. And I said, if you were to be a saint one day, what would your window or what would your holy card look like? And this boy got up. He's from the Bronx, this, this section of the Bronx called Morris Park. It's very Italian. So, you know, it's like, what's the matter with you? You see me over here? You see me walking over here? It's like the movie Taxi, but it's not. It's real life. So I said, Marco, what would your window look like? And he was like, easy. He gets up out of his desk and he looks at me and goes like this. And I said, guess what? In the future, when somebody sees your window, they're going to say, I can be a saint like that. That's the type of saint I want to be. So we are walking reflections of the life that Jesus Christ is calling us to. We may not be in a stained glass window. Our names might not be written down in the book of saints, but there's a space there waiting for us. And so that's why I made the song called Who Says You Can't Be a Saint? So this one... Thank you. Yeah, thanks. We worked that out. I gave him $5 during lunch, and I was like, please clap when I say that. Called Who Says You Can't Be a Saint? Last one. I hope you had a great time. Thank you so much for having myself here and Melvin Rebels. So God bless you guys. This is the last one. Called Who Says You Can't Be a Saint? Clap your hands now. Come on. Who says you can't? Who says you can't? Who says you can't be a saint? Say, say, say with me now. Who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can be a saint? Say, say. Who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can be a saint? Say, say. Here we go. Who says you can't be a saint? Boy, I think you can do it. Persevere. Gotta push through it when you're feeling down. Gotta renew it. Don't just lose it. Listen to music. Life is a journey. No cruising through it. But there's holiness in the everyday. I know that I can prove it. Going to school, going to church. Cooking up dinner, some job as a clerk. Just keep it up. Do your duties well and let him do the work. You're a baby. You're a brother. You're a teacher. You're a mother. Just keep it up. Do your duties well and let him do the work. Come on, put your hands together right now. Let's go. Who says you can't be saint? Say, say, say with me now. Hey, who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can't be saint? Say, say. Who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can't be saint? Say, say. Yeah, times are tough, gotta get up no matter how rough Saint ain't nothing but a sinner who never gave up, I'ma never give up I can, you can, we can, everybody rise up, eyes up Knocking at your door, knocking at your door, knocking at your door Cause I wanna be more, man let me in cause I wanna give it all Give my life so I put it on Christ Peter, Paul, John, James, free from the chains that I'm under shame Following Christ with all that I got, spirit will feel when I run this race Rise up with them saints until I see him face to face who says you can't? Who says you can't be a saint? Say, say, sing, sing three times. Who says you can't? Who says you can't? Who says you can't be a saint? Say, say. Oh yeah. So this is the time when I say to you, who says you can't be a saint? Who says you are not capable of making it to heaven? We know as brothers and sisters in Christ, we cannot do this on our own. We need to walk with one another in communion and share that same love that is seen in the Trinity. That love that is poured from Jesus' heart is shared for us. We're going to clap our hands on the count of three. Three. I tricked you. There you go. Clap your hands. Come on. Now, I'm going to say, I want to be a, and you're going to yell, saint. And we're going to stand up and jump together on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Jump. I want to be a saint. I wanna be a saint. I wanna be a saint. Say, I wanna be a saint. Yeah, she wants to be a saint. She wants to be a saint. Hey, we wanna be a saint. Yeah, we wanna be a saint. Who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can be a saint? Say, say, sing it now. Hey, who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can be a saint? Say, say, one more time. Hey, who says you can? Who says you can? Who says you can be a saint? Saint, saint. Thank you guys. God bless.